Hello Scorpio, welcome to your bonus love reading. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, let's see what messages will show up for you today. Scorpio, this is a collective love message for your sign. So please take it how it resonates and what resonates for your overall situation. Let's see. What do we have for you? So Scorpio might be dealing with Aquarius. Well, you have someone here who is in love with you. They want to be with you, Two of Cups. This person wants to be in a relationship with you. They have love for you. They want to spend time with you. For some of you, this is someone who wants to have a reconciliation. Um, they want to reconnect. This card can also represent reunion. But you have someone who wants to be with you in a relationship. They want things to work out between the two of you. Eight of Pentacles. That's what they want. Mutual energy, we have a King of Swords. For some of you, it's like at the moment... Um, It feels like there is a need for clear communication. I feel that both of you want to talk, but the question here is who's going to initiate this, you know, but there is a need for clear communication, clear conversation. But this person is in love with you, Scorpio. We have a six of cups with the page of pentacles. This is a card of reconciliation. So for some of you, we are talking here about your ex or someone, for instance, with whom uh, you had a falling out or it's like there was an um, argument, you know, or tension. There is a tension between the two of you. And it's like with the Six of Cups, I feel that you, with the, with the Six of Cups with the Page of Pentacles suggests here for a lot of you that you might be... Uh, kind of willing to forgive this person you would like reconciliation and reunion with them you know six of cups is this major energy of the past that wants to resurface itself again i feel that you want to revisit this situation with the six of cups i feel that you are very nostalgic about the situation scorpio at the end of the day Eight of Pentacles, yeah. This person wants to work things out with you. Could you please show me this person's energy and feelings towards Scorpio? I feel that you are coming back to those very, very nice moments that both of you uh, experience within this connection or in this connection. Ace of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, Five of Cups. But this person's energy and feelings. Four of Swords, the Emperor, and the Tower. So something here indeed happened. <laughs> we have strength. So, Scorpio, you might be dealing with another Scorpio. We have very strong Aries. We have very strong Leo, Sagittarius, Aquarius, and Taurus so far in this reading for you well this person wants to come for wants to come here and bring it's like they want to bring an, a solid offer with the ace of pentacles in the form of wheel of fortune you have someone here scorpio who wants to change the circumstances between the two of you why because they are deeply unhappy with the state of affairs between the two of you you have someone who is in love with you, who wants to be with you, and it feels like this person really wants to make amends. They want to change the circumstances with the Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune, it's all about change. Ace of Pentacles suggests that this person is going to make an offer in order to change the situation in this connection. Why? Because they are deeply unhappy. This is someone who is missing you if there is no contact situation. Or even if you're on a speaking terms, they are deeply unhappy with the state of affairs between the two of you. That's why they want to take 
math is in their own hands, metaphorically saying. They want to come with initiative and they want to change the circumstances between the two of you. Four of Swords, there is a need of healing. You might be dealing with Divine Masculine, Scorpio, or you are Divine Masculine, please take it how it resonates, but that Emperor created the Tower moment. This person created the Tower moment. Something here happened, it was unexpected, it was out of the blue, and it brought change. And not very happy change, especially for them. Because this person has regrets. Five of Cups, card of regret. Sadness, disappointment. The Four of Swords, it's like this person is trying to heal, but they at the same time they are thinking a lot about the situation and you. And um, what I am getting here, Scorpio, that this person, it's kind of a... They know that they need to take responsibility for their actions. If they want to change that circumstances and if they want to be with you. It's like this is what they need to do. This is someone who needs to admit that they created this tower moment and they are fully responsible for this. And they know this. They need to do this. Strength suggests that this person is very, very passionate about this connection. They are very passionate about you. They found you incredibly attractive. But also I feel that this person is trying to gain strength. And they know that they need to be very diplomatic about this whole situation. They need to... Uh, I feel this is someone who feels that they need to be very careful with their words, the way they're going to con conduct themselves with you in order to... to not... to... not to mess things up. Mm hmm Could you please show me Scorpio's energy and feelings towards this person and this connection? Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords, King of Swords. This is a match. Could you please show me Scorpio's energy and feelings towards this person and this connection? Okay. The Magician, Four of Pentacles, the Death card and Ace of... Oh. Ace of Wands, excuse me. Eight of Wands. As an overall energy. For your part of the reading, you might be dealing with Gemini. I also have Virgo. And your energy, Scorpio, might be dealing with another Scorpio. So we have... Knight of Swords to the Queen of Swords. For some of you, this is like a relationship with the King of Swords and Queen of Swords. But things are not particularly um, fabulous between the two of you. That Knight of Swords suggests here, Scorpio, that I feel that you really want to address something. You might be feel an urge to kind of, I feel that you want this person to take initiative, to kind of chase you. And what I am getting is that with this Queen of Swords, you might be embodying this energy of Queen of Swords. I feel this person really kind of hit the nerve, let's say it that way, at least so. Um, and uh, I feel that there is a mixture of emotions here. For some of you, there is a, let's say that one day you are very kind of annoyed with them. You might be still angry and it's like I'm going to give this person a cold shoulder if they're going to approach me. But for instance, next day you might be feeling more nostalgic, you know. And it's like I'm seeing here, Scorpio, that you are willing to listen to this person. You, you are willing to hear them out with this Queen of Swords. Yeah, Magician, I feel that you are trying to manifest a change. You are thinking a lot about this person. You're attracting them by doing this. Look at their energy, as we discussed before. You're attracting them. But this is communication. I feel that you... It's like you feel that there is a need for, for, for serious communication. And with the magician, this person needs to, needs to try really, really hard. It's like maybe you're coming from the place where they need to try everything here for me to change my mind. Four of Pentacles, yeah, I feel that you are holding back. You don't want to make that first move. 
um, but at the same time I feel that you are still holding on to this connection but you are keeping your cards very close to your chest and you are very very selective with your energy when it comes to this connection the death card with the ace of wands this is endings and also new beginnings it everything depends on this person Again, I feel for a lot of you, I cannot speak for all the collective, but I, but based on this reading, I feel Scorpio that if this person is going to admit this energy that they created it, I feel that you are willing to have that reconciliation with them and, gi and give them a chance and to start over. Because the death card suggests here that something ended, but we have an ace of wands a birth of a new, metaphorically saying. So it's like, you know, having that new beginning with this person, starting over. But this is someone here who really needs to, they need to, I feel that indeed they need to, they will have to try everything in order for you to, you know, to consider that reconciliation. Deep inside, I feel that you want this, but it's like, mm -mm -mm, this person really needs to prove it to me. That they are taking full responsibility, full responsibility for creating that tower moment. And then, yeah, we can talk about new beginning. Eight of Wands, communication, action. You'll be in touch with this person. There will be a conversation. Big time. Look. Emperor, Empress. This person sees you as their divine counterpart. You might be dealing with Taurus. Divine counterpart. And I feel that you also see them as a match. Children might be involved with the fall in this situation. The moon. Uncertainty. Let's take a look. Could you please show me this person's... No. You see they are thinking about you. Could you please show me the outcome for the near future? of cups you might be dealing with Pisces we have Virgo Cancerian energy we have here as well well Scorpio this person wants to be with you ten of cups this is the energy that they're coming in to this outcome they want relationship they see you as they happily ever after here we have two of cups they want to be with you and it, it feels like this person will make themselves very clear mutual energy high priestess i feel that at the moment yeah you, you might be not on the speaking terms or it's like you're having a very quiet days if you are in a relationship with this person um or there is no contact situation, please take it how it resonates for your particular situation, personal situation. Ha, um, yes, High Priestess. Now we're going to eight, to the final card, Eight of Cups. This is also your energy that you're coming into this outcome. I feel that at the moment you are trying to kind of emotionally distance yourself from this it's like i feel that you are trying to find balance between logic being practical and all those emotions and maybe you are coming from the place because of what happened here between the two of you that you need to kind of put aside feelings you need to look at the situation uh, you know through the lenses of, of 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 logic and available facts regarding what happened here between the two of you For me, that Eight of Cups, I, I'm not seeing you walking away from that situation. Maybe for some of you will decide to do that. You know, again, I cannot speak for all the collective, but Eight of Cups here, I'm seeing you kind of walking f away from certain aspects of this connection that doesn't make you happy. It doesn't mean that you're going to go walk away from it. Because to be quite honest with you, I feel that you want reconciliation with this person. And they really kind of showing up here as someone who is in love with you and they want to be in a relationship with you. For some of you, it might be a case here that you will say, listen, I need more time. I need more space. I need to think about this. You know, 
when this person will approach you. Eight of Cups can represent that sort of kind of attitude or that sort of kind of decision that you, you might make, you know. Eight of Cups, yeah, saying, because I feel this person will really try to, metaphorically saying, fight for this, for this connection with the Ten of Cups. They see you as they happily ever after. This is someone who wants to have a family with you, who wants to have a loving, caring relationship with you. But with the Eight of Cups, in the near future, immediate future, when this person will express uh, all those emotions that they have for you and for this connections, connection, I feel that indeed you might kind of say something as, listen, I need more time, I need to think about this, I need more space. Because Eight of Cups also represents a cyclical kind of energy. Eight of Cups most of the time represents someone who might have detached themselves. Maybe they've walked away from that situation, but it's for a certain time. It's not once and for all walking away. It can be, but it depends on all the cards, how this Eight of Cups is expected. This card itself represents, yes, detaching, walking away, but for a certain amount of time in order to rethink something. And why rethink? Because overall energy, we have the hermit. And in this case, I feel that, you know, at the moment you might be both of you might be in a hermit mode, but it's hermit. It's more about figuring things out. And what I am getting here that indeed you might tell this person really, I really need to figure, figure things out. I really need to think about this. I need more space. But it doesn't mean that you're going to end this connection because, to be quite honest, I don't see the end of this connection. Something here happened indeed between the two of you, but we have an Ace of Wands. It's like a rebirth of something in this case, especially with the Death card and the Ace of Wands, rebirth of certain, a certain thing. And in this case, rebirth of this connection, resurrection of this connection, essentially. So either way, Scorpio, you can, you can expect this person to really kind of metaphorically saying fight for this connection. They want to be with you. This is someone who loves you. And they perfectly well know that they need to take responsibility for creating that tower moment. And it feels like they will. They will. Scorpio, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you. Scorpio, you have a fantastic and absolutely gorgeous day. And once again, thank you very much for being with me. I am sending you much, much love. Till next time, take care. Bye.